Hello and welcome, this is S tier rank. Today I'm going to play some more Inscription Casey's mod. And we're going to try to do another round. I just had my first win in the previous stream, so I need to get 15 challenge points on the board in order to advance. So I think I'm going to do a boss totem and that will get us to the next challenge level. Let's begin. I think this will be challenging, so here we go. All right, what are we gonna do here? We've got one choice to make at the beginning, so we'll just go ahead and move forward. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, two rabbit pelts. So, got two, one blood, one, two. I feel like getting a river snapper would be a good idea because of that high defense. We could get it on the power improvement, that would be great. And um, getting a cockroach for its und undiability sigil could come well on something else. Okay, I don't think we had a ringworm or anything that we could feed to uh, get them sick. I don't know if cockroach would do it or not either. I'm curious if it if it perished at the uh, fire, would that count or not? Um, we could put the cockroach sigil on something a little bit less expensive, like on the wolf or um, river snapper, perhaps. So we could keep bringing it along. Um, this is a hard one. How about... We'll do the sigil. Okay. And I'll put it on the wolf. So why not? Why not? And into our first fight we go. Alright, a raven egg coming our way. We don't have a good way to block it because that fur is in our path. So let's do a nice stoke to get the fight started. Okay, we're gonna have an alpha come in. We're gonna have to handle that somehow. It's gonna power up that raven egg as well. Hmm. Alpha only has one attack power, so even a bullfrog could take it out. It has two health. So it won't survive long enough. Um, I guess we're going to need to wait and put down the river snapper. Okay, snapper time. That'll lower the power of the raven just in time too. We can have the bullfrog start attacking the raven. Um, it will only last a turn, but still. It was worth it for the blocking the heat coming off of that raven. And if we could put the wolf down um, to take out the raven, then that'll be that. Okay, I'm surprised he didn't concede. It's kind of funny. Alright, I think heading to the wood carver may be a good idea, so let's head this way. Alright, well, we could do maybe having a bird for some diversity would be a good idea. A magpie. Now onto the wood carver. Let's see if we can get us a cheap setup. It's good enough to help us win. Oh, immortality. Maybe that would be a good idea. I don't think I've ever tried to run that focuses on that, but we'll, we'll try it today. Okay. Oh, hi, Wizard Max. How are you doing? Good to see you. All right, Elk Wands. 
I'm doing well. Glad that you could join again. I always enjoy the company. <laughs> I'm just playing a little bit more Casey's mod, so it's a nice challenge. Hoping to have a second win today, but we'll see how it goes. It's so difficult. Alright, time for the magpie. And we will call out our wolf. I don't think he's got anything left. This refiner will play the wolf over in the uh, stoat. Get that extra damage. Good. Now we'll be able to buy some stuff. Um, let's see, so teeth go to the trapper and we have a possible thing here and an upgrade opportunity. So let's go here. Aw, I'm glad you like my channel that makes your day better. That's awesome. Let's see. Don't have enough, so we'll settle for a wolf pelt and hold on to the rest. Here we go. Okay, plus two health to somebody. Well, who should it be? Who should it be? I feel like tossing the stoat out there may be a good idea, but the low power of the magpie is kind of rough, or low defense, so I think I want to go with it instead. And we will back out of that. Okay. And we have a totem fight. Alright, so this one has Airborne, Sigil, or the Mighty Leap, and a Mole coming in, so we need to try to get rid of that Raven Egg if we can. Um, unfortunately, I don't know if we'll be able to do enough damage on it, but we'll get the Stoat um, posted up there to begin that journey. Okay, and we will just save up. Okay. Unfortunately, that's going to hurt us a decent bit, but we are about to have enough to play our River Snapper, and it can start um, attacking on the mole. Oops. There we go. That mole is going to be blocking us from getting damage on the board, and that's never good. Okay. Um, I think that's all we can do for the moment. All right, another raven egg coming in. Unfortunately, we got a rabbit pelt. That is less than ideal. Um, we may have to pull the raven over to our side because otherwise it's going to do possibly too much damage here. Okay, let's see, a bullfrog. Bullfrog won't be able to take it out in time, but we should get two damage on the board. And I think that will tilt things in our favor somewhat, and the airborne um, block here by the bullfrog should protect us as well from the raven that's about to spawn. Okay, now we'll draw from this pile, and we have a wolf. Um, it's kind of an unfortunate situation, but I think we're going to have to do something like sacrifice um, either one of these pelts, I don't think it count as blood though, fortunately. I could use this, um, the timing is just not right, I think it, we're in a little bit of a bind here. So the wolf could take out that raven quickly, but getting rid of the two of these guys, only for that one to hatch. 
just barely edge it out. I think it, it, it'll work out in the end though. So it is undying as well. So we'll just um, we'll roll with it. Okay, it's very close, and we're going to need to draw this one, and we get a magpie, and then we're going to get three damage, three damage, which will deadlock us. Fortunately, so I will need to. Hmm. I think I can wait and draw enough that we'll be able to overcome them. So let's just wait till the next turn. Okay. Yep. There we go. I'm glad I didn't have to use one of my items because that was um, looking kind of bleak. Oh, the wild bull. I think it, this is one of the cards I um, drew previously. Reckless wild bull, anything that's passed is fine with pain. Infanticidal cuckoo. It chokes up the board with the broken eggs on its victims. It might be fun to have. Let's try the cuckoo out. And we'll try boosting somebody here. Alright. Tech power. Let's see what we have. Airborne and Brood Parasite. When a card bearing a sigil is played, an egg is created on the opposing space. Um, well, who can use some power? I think having the Cuckoo there for max damage would be awesome. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and back away from that. Okay, now two health. Who needs that? I feel like either the stoat or the bullfrog would be deserving, but having a wolf with four health is pretty awesome too. Maybe we'll do that. A little bit risky because I know that in Casey's mod we can lose a card even on the first power up, but we'll stay with it. Okay. Let's see if we've made some good choices since this is going to be a totem fight and a boss fight. Oh boy. Totems for boss battles? Well done. I like this one. Oh, that's going to be tough. And so they're using guard dog. Okay. Hmm. And the trapper. Just trying to think out how this one's going to play. Well, got a bullfrog we got to get rid of. Those strange frogs are so difficult to... Maybe we'll just put down a smoke for the moment. And um, we can maybe attack this other strange frog with our bullfrog just let it pass away. Stoat is also a base one, so I think we're going to need to do something like this to get it going. Okay. And we can perhaps just let things go on forward. If we leave that trap there and block the rabbit, that'll be at least one good path blocked. Um, not having to sacrifice this dote for anything, but maybe the river snapper. Um, but these traps are so frustrating in the way that they work. Um, I'd almost rather just let the stoat take it out, or we could keep attacking the strange frog. Let's say the bullfrog. So maybe we'll do that. There we go. Okay, good. Now if we can 
avoid killing the rabbit, that would be ideal. Okay, now we could put down our river snapper. All right, there we go. Okay. Hopefully we'll get something strong. Okay, we got our cuckoo. Um, fortunately, it's not the best situation, so this is when it's played that it leaves the egg and um, fortunately the river snapper has the only free lane so that's less than ideal. I think we may just have to skip our turn unless we want to sacrifice our snapper. We're kind of running out of um, hit points on the board unfortunately. Um, let's do it though because maybe it'll be worth it. That poor chick never had a chance. Okay. We'll get our wolf on the board to take out the uh, bullfrog that's bullying us here in a moment. We're about to have pulled on this now. Ooh. I definitely did. So we have one, two, three, four pelts to exchange. The uh, wolf is going to take out this column, I believe, and the cuckoo is going to take out at least the porcupine, I think. It may pass away after that. I think it only has one health. So the kingfisher may be a problem. Um, the mantis, the wolf cub, being ours would be nice. So I think it would take both of those. And taking out, I think the worker ant would be a good idea. And the kingfisher. There we go. Hopefully we have enough squirrels left to play most of these. Um... So the wolf will take out that lane and survive, and the cuckoo should take out the porcupine and survive. So we really just need to assign something to the skink to uh, make an impact there. So what do we have? Well, we could get the mantis on the board next to it, and it could just do some damage. Um, an empty space will be struck, card brain sigil will move to that space to receive the strike instead. So it would just take itself out, unfortunately. So we may want something else like the magpie. Um, maybe the kingfisher would be a good idea, or the worker ant. Let's do the ant. Here we go. And that should be enough to be safe for this turn. Oh, thank you, Wizard Rex. I've really been trying to get better at it. I've really enjoyed learning the strategy of it all. Okay. Now that Porcupine survived, I, I thought the Magpie had enough to overpower it, but oh yeah, it's an airborne. That's why it didn't take it out. My skink's wriggling tail is uh, going to fetch me out now, too, so we've got to figure out how to take care of it. Um, well, I guess we could put a wolf cub down, and that'll overwhelm them pretty quickly, so let's go ahead and do it. Okay. And there we are. Um, no, I don't think I've put any uh, moderators in my chat yet. I, I do need to think about doing that someday if I get uh, much more popular. <laughs> I uh, self-moderate at, at this moment. Okay, let's see. And I have a lot of good um, rule sets so that it's hard for 
spammers to come in. All right, Ouroboros, um, another Undying card. So I think that I will take it, and we will see if we can um, kind of abuse its sigil to make our way through this, because with this boss battle sigil situation, it's pretty tough. Elk Pond, a Moose Buck, and a Rabbit Warren. Okay. Um, I think I need a three power card just to be safe, so I'm going to take the Moose Buck just to have um, a tank that I can return to. And would I want to put something else on it or play some other way? Um, I don't know if I wanted to sacrifice a card. Um, and I don't need more items at this moment. This middle one, I always forget what it, that symbol is. Um, but we'll go with it and see what happens. Ah, it's just a straight sacrifice. Okay. So, we could do, I feel like we have something here that we might want to do. I'm feeling like Stoke might be good bet because our other one bloods are uh, kind of taking over a little bit hmm I think we'll do this though having a uh, bone okay Yeah, I'm not so sure that that's the most worthy thing because I don't have any creatures that, um, you know, use bone yet too, so I don't know. We'll see about that. May have been a little bit of a misplay. Alright, Bullfrog, you're going to take out um, our wolf cub. Oh, and this is the one where it's going to back it up with the wolf. <laughs> okay. And here comes an angry alpha to make things worse. So I think that we will need to block the wolf and um, it will die within two turns. So here we go. Now the mole's joining in on the attack. And we have another wolf cub coming in. Um, tempted to use one of my powers because I don't know if we will clear off the board quickly enough here um, to be safe. However, if I can get this moose buck on, it might work out. Hmm. Well, that mole is going to come block empty spaces and be a problem in that matter. Or manner, so I think I am going to need to use my hook and we'll take that alpha over for survivability reasons. Here we go. Okay. There we go. Turn that around. I didn't think I'd be able to, and maybe the hook was um, kind of a panic move, but we needed to do something there. And I believe I need to head to the woodcarver the most, so we're going to go there next. Alright, what's in the cards? A skink, a rattler, and a moose buck. Oh, a duplicate moose buck I can have. Hmm. And a rattler looks a little bit cheaper since I have a bone um, token now that I get free. But the skink is a little bit better than, um, you know, having a stoat. So maybe we'll go with it. Because it at least has a little bit of something that comes with it. Alright. Let's complete this sigil. Many lies. When the card bearing sigil is sacrificed, it does not perish. And let's double check. I can't quite read that one. But let's see. We have two birds. And we can make them... 
regenerate too, so let's do this. Alright. Nice. Unkillable. Good, good. Sparrows and wolf cubs. Alright, that wolf cub is our top priority, so we'll put a cuckoo down in front of it to at least um, block it for a little bit. Okay. And we gotta get rid of a wolf now, too. So... How should we do this? I think we're going to have to draw this as a risk, and we will play the bullfrog to get rid of um, the sparrow. Okay, that'll block the hit and do a damage. Okay, it's going to recover quite a bit due to the wolf being on the board, but that's not a problem. We can go like this, and Noroboros. We don't want to sacrifice two for it. So the bullfrog is going to take out the sparrow. The alpha is going to power things up, which is unfortunate. And um, we may end up losing this one. So I'm going to pull a tooth and see how things go after that. Okay. It's going to be too much damage on the board, I think, for me to be able to recover. Um, let's see. We'll do this, and I think that we're just done, because we can't get blood off of a pelt. Um, pelts can be used as a you know, blocker, but that's uh, really it, unfortunately. Um, now, I could sacrifice the... Uh, cuckoo and take out the stump but I really should have probably went for the alpha um, and put the pellet down so I think I'll just stick with what we have for the moment okay so let's see what we get on this card all right a skink um, a skink could be used how so I could get one hit on the wolf. Unfortunately, that's it. Um, I think that we're just about out of options, so let's try this and going from there. Okay. Let's draw another one of these, and we get a moose buck. Um, and that might be it. I don't think it will be able to recover out of this quite any way possible. So even if we get a squirrel, um, we could take out the wolf, but that's going to be joined by a wolf cub right away. Um, and Ouroboros would die. Um, the alpha could be attacked a couple, or I guess just once, really. And, um, yeah, that's going to leave us with some trouble. So this will be plus two, three, four. Yep, I think it's inevitable. Wow, that just went by so quickly. Um, that's okay. It's just my first candle. We'll keep rolling with it and see where we end up. It is painful to see. <laughs> Taught me so much. Okay, um, what duplicates do I have? Any? Looks like I don't have any duplicates yet. So I could chance it, or I could try to go to the power-up area. I think I'll go to the power-up. Yeah, an F for sure. That was rough. Um, ravens are pretty nice. And raven egg um, might be even nicer, so I think I'll go with it since it's only one blood. Okay. We could get a raven egg that defends itself. That would be cool. And I'm gonna try for two. Oh yeah. Nice. 
He can only power it twice in Casey's mind, so that's why it just automatically withdraws, I found out. Nice. Okay. So that means we can play our raven egg um, in front of the wolf. And that'll be that. Oh, wow. It's going to have enough excess damage to take out the wolf cub and the wolf. Excellent. Excellent. Here we go. And that should exhaust them, having that broken egg blocking their damage. Nice. That was a fast one. Okay. Well, we could keep going on with our bird army here. Um, have a full-fledged raven join our force. And that would be, let's see, our third, fourth, our fifth two blood. Um, I'm not a huge fan of adders just to do their fragility. Yeah, I think I will go with bird army. We're going to do it. Um, I'm happy with the sigil, I think, so I'm not going to go to woodcarver for this run. I'm out of items, so I think that's a obvious choice there. And um, this one is skipping the turn, so let's do that. And then the airborne sigil helper, that is useful. And having an extra squirrel can come in clutch. So, fortunately, I don't think I have a duplicate. Um, but yeah, nope, no duplicates. Ah, okay. Um, well, let's see. Man, having a super buff river snapper could be cool. Maybe I'll do the river snapper. It's too bad they won't give you a card and go ahead and make you a duplicate um, surgery. <laughs> okay. Another boss. Now, if we could take out that pack mule, that would be beautiful. Hmm. I think we need to just block that damage somehow, so we'll put a bullfrog down to begin with. Okay. In comes the wolf cub. Okay, had a sneeze. One moment. All right, gotta take out the wolf cub before it gets powerful. Um, Ripper Snapper could do the trick, but we'll have to use a card for that. Okay, and that's our turn. Okay, time to start getting squirrels on in our hand. Ah, uh, that adder took us out. What a meanie. Okay. Um, fortunately, that pack mule is going to move again and get in our way here in just a second. Um, and we can put the moose back down and take out the wolf and head our way over to the pack mule, but we really kind of needed to take out that adder first, I believe because otherwise it might slide into um, that slot and be a problem. Here we go. Oh, a pelt. I think it was safe for the moment, so let's go ahead and move. Okay. Oh, full-grown wolf. 
hopefully we'll get something. Ah, just a pelt. How funny. Um, well, I hate to make them skip turn because that's a powerful move. So instead, I kind of think that blocking their attack might be the better idea. All right, a raven egg. That's what I needed. Okay, go, go, Raven. Um, let's see. I'm hesitant to put down that skink because we're not to phase two yet, so I'm going to hold off. Okay, um, now if I play the cuckoo in the right spot when the pack mule moves over, I could trap it, and that would be a thing of beauty, so we're going to wait for that. So we're about to lose our raven. Yeah, I agree. The pelts um, are definitely useful for blocking. I wish I could hold on to them and trade, but sometimes you just got to keep them, you know. Okay, and let's get, I guess, our... Could have a raven on our board. Just to get some damage going. Okay, and that'll be that. I don't think that Bloodhound will be able to be enough to recover this, so I'm going to play my Cuckoo next and uh, block in the Pack Mule. If it'll let me, there we go. <laughs> nice. Okay. We want it. Two bosses down. All right, child 13. Okay, I think the Gek can be fed to poison the um, guys, but I'm not positive. Um, the Douse may be decent. I don't know what Child 13 is good for, really. Hmm. I need to look that up sometime. It's interesting it's considered part of the, like, deer family. Same thing with the Douse. I think I'll go with the Douse. Okay. Forward we venture. And what do we have next? Uh, I don't think sacrificing a card is good. I don't really need the wood carver either. Um, I only need one item. And I don't think I have enough pelts to trade right now. Um, well, I do have two, so maybe it'll be worth it. Pretty sure this is the pelts. Yeah. Okay probably use a little bit of um, something that uses up bone so I think that I might go with a cockroach since it regenerates and what could we get here a coyote that comes back as well be pretty nice or an alpha to give us some power on the board I think we'll do that it also has that boulder sigil that helps block some sorts of attacks, so that's cool. Okay, um, Black Goat will give us some blood. We need for something powerful, so we'll go with it. Got to be thinking of the end game. Okay, got our nice raven on the board. And we have some worker ants coming in, so we need to take them out since they power each other up. Um, best person for that would probably be the raven or the river snapper but I've got a bullfrog that can take out at least the worker bee but I think I'll just well they're gonna get they'll take me out immediately if I don't do something so ah that's not good um 
Oh, nice. Thank you for the tip on Child 13. That sounds really interesting, and I kind of regret not picking it up now. That would have been very useful, I think. Okay. Um, the bee is going to do airborne damage when it comes in anyway, so their very first attack, they could, like, take me out immediately. Um, I'm feeling like I need to have the black goat so that I can put down a raven and immediately take out the worker ant when it comes in and survive its onslaught. So uh, I really hate to do that. Maybe skipping a turn or playing the bullfrog over here in the far lane would be enough to uh, get something going. Alright, let's just play the um, frog over here. I don't need to worry about this because I may have to retry this run next time anyways. Yeah, they're just going to do so much damage. It's going to be hard to recover from this. Um, well, if we get a squirrel or we could draw this and we get a moose buck. Um, if we have them skip turn and get a um, squirrel on the next turn, I could play our moose buck. And that would be enough to recover a little bit. Or I could just use Sacrifice the Bullfrog for the goat and get it run away. Um, and that might be enough. So let's, let's try that out. Okay. And we can take out this entire lane, but it's just not enough. I really should. I'm a math better. <laughs> uh, yeah. I think I'm going to have to still make them skip the turn. This is not going to work otherwise. Okay. And taking out this worker ant will lower their attack power a little bit, so this might make us viable again. And now I can play a raven to get rid of this mantis that's attacking in both directions. Or I can get rid of the B, which I think that might be a little bit more productive, so it'll take out that entire lane. Oh yeah, I'm airborne too. I keep forgetting that. It's only bad about not remembering that aspect of uh, the raven and stuff. Ooh, that was risky. Um, okay, the moose buck's going to take it out, but we're going to get at least one damage on the board, which I think it will be able to survive. So let's just continue forward. Oops, maybe that was a blunder. Yep. Ah. There we go. Okay. So what can we do next? Um, don't need the woodcarver. I do need items, so we'll go this way. Hmm. Maybe having a great white could help us. <laughs> yeah, time flies when you're having fun. I uh, can't believe I've already been playing for nearly 45 minutes today. It just, uh goes by quickly. I guess we'll get a squirrel and a card cutting. That could be great. Okay. All right, what to do with this mantis? I think that's a bigger threat, so we should line somebody up to get it. Um, and a cuckoo could just block it right away, which is pretty 
nice and trolly, so I think it will do that. All right, thanks, Cuckoo. All right, and let's keep going. Oh, it's a swarm of bees. We'll put a uh, river snapper in front of, I guess the bullfrog might make the most sense. So the bees are only gonna, well, maybe putting it in front of the bees would be a good idea. Okay. Cuckoo is kind of holding the fort down anyways. Good. Oh, Cuckoo. I'm gonna start using my own cards against me. Okay. Um, I don't think having a bullfrog down is really gonna help, so let's just keep going. Okay. Ouroboros. I guess if we uh, get it on the board, we could at least uh, sacrifice it for its strength. There we go. And we will go with that. Okay, it is stronger now. Good. So we need to get a cuckoo back on the board, I suppose. Um, actually, it'd be great if we could sacrifice that Ouroboros again, just to get it powered up more. But let's see. I'll go with the cuckoo. Not making enough progress. I think that I'll need to speed this up and get serious about it, or else I'm gonna have trouble winning. So let's uh, keep going for a moment. Ooh, that was a big hit. All right, I think we have enough for our Ouroboros, so we'll do a sacrifice of it again so that we can get it buffed one more time. And we gotta be approaching something that uses um, our bones. I should have put the Ouroboros over on the right and that would have had me a regen. That was my mistake. Okay, no big deal. At least got some excess damage out of it all. Let's see. Not enough for a golden pelt. Darn. Guess we'll just settle for a couple other pelts. I tend to like to buy them out just in case they come in handy. Hey, Kristoff. <laughs> I see your uh, comment. Okay. It's been a good match. Let's see who we can do now. Um, getting a duplicate of something might be amazing. What would we want? Perhaps the Ouroboros. Um, or we could get a sigil copied onto something. Hmm. I don't see a good one with that. I think we'll just go with the copy and maybe do a Ouroboros. We'll double check. I don't know if having the alpha makes the most sense. Um, Dallas or Great White. Hmm. We'll go with, well, let's see. Actually, I don't see Ouroboros as a possibility. I wonder if it was just not allowed or something for a copy. Um, 
That's interesting. So we gotta pick a second choice. Um, I don't know about the cockroach. Maybe we'll do alpha. Cause it is, uh, let's see, I wanna think about it one more time. Cuckoo's pretty nice and annoying, though. I like its trolling ability. Um, should we do it instead? I think maybe we should do it instead. All right, make it strong, make it strong. Three and one, okay. It looks like it may have made it one, uh, just one hit power higher, so that's good. All right, Ouroboros, um, who do you want to get in front of? I think we will lay our raven egg in front of the worker ant. There we go. I think that was a good choice. It would have stunk to have that um, mantis come out right away. Okay. And let's see. I guess that we could use our emergency squirrel to get something on the board. Um, however, let me think. They're going to do in our next turn quite a bit of damage. One, two, three, four. If I don't do something here um and that'd be close to, to enough to take me out so but my raven is going to do plus four so that's going to equal out so we should be okay okay now we could put something like our Ouroboros on the board and um kind of go from there we could let the mantis take it out on purpose to get it buffed up here in two turns. Okay. All right, so I can draw a squirrel and use an emergency squirrel to uh, fend off and play our wolf. Um, and that may work out just fine. I think that I won't exceed the damage too much. That'll take out, um, worker ant and most of the second one that's in the back. Okay. And how are we going to go from here? We do have a stronger Uruburos now, so that's great, but really need something playable. Um, let's see, the balance is about to tip here. So we'll risk it. All right, a one blood cuckoo with three attack power. Um, that won't quite get us where we need to be. I was really hoping for something with um, bone, because this is going to do one, two, three, four, five. And I think it were dead even now, so that would be, I think, a kill if I uh, let it happen that way. Let me double check. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. Um, I'm going to need to do, I think, the fan card. Or the fan would help us. There we go. And that's enough to hold off until we can play something else.
Okay. Um, well, the Cuckoo can do three damage and take out this lane um, in one hit, but I'm thinking it's not going to be enough. So again, I think I'm, I've kind of played myself into a corner here, and uh, I'm going to need to do another power-up, this time taking out a worker ant. I think seems like the best deal here, because that will cut down the power on this guy as well. And I don't think that's safe yet, fortunately, but let's just see what happens. It's very close. Okay. Now, I could play our wolf and direct him here in the center or towards the mantis god. Um, ooh. Pressure, pressure. I think it, we're going to have to do it, though. Because if we can get that lane opened, we may be able to turn this around. Oh, just shy. And that's the end of it. Oof. That was a hard loss. I was so close to having the third boss, too, and I was really hoping to unleash the uh, bird army. <laughs> Maybe next time. So, two bosses down, 137 cards drawn, six uh, scale damage in one turn, 56 squirrels harm, 66 sacrifices, and 19 misplays. <laughs> I gotta get those misplays down. I think I did make a lot of silly little mistakes, especially around um, ignoring my airborne sigils. But that's okay. We'll do better next time. Okay, thanks for watching. This has been S Tier Rank. You can follow me on Twitch and Twitter at S Tier Rank. I'll have a replay of today's stream on YouTube soon. Thank you. Have a good day.